Today, follow along in Adobe Illustrator and design yourself a neat and a quality halftone poster design. What is up people, welcome back to Satori Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. Just before we start the halftone poster design tutorial, I just want you to remember that I'm on vacation, so the uploads this week might be shorter than usual and also a bit rushed. However, next week I'm going to be back to business as usual. So for the final halftone poster design outcome, you're going to need to work in Photoshop first and foremost, just to edit your image a little bit. Try and capture it with a white background. However, if you can't do that, I've linked a video in the top right corner. So we're also going to need the image to be grayscale for this effect to work. So in Photoshop, you can desaturate the image like so. Lastly, we need to play around with the levels of the image by adding an adjustments layer in the layers window. You can open up the layers window by pressing F7 on your keyboard. The idea here is to change the levels of the image to brighten things up a little bit and to enhance detail. We also want to increase the black scale somewhat to gain contrast on the image too. When ready, save the image as a JPEG or a PNG and then open up that image in Adobe Illustrator. So we're now back on my one true love, Adobe Illustrator. As of now, the picture is a single raster image and we need to vectorize it so that we can work with it and add the halftone effect for the poster design. Open the image tracer window and today we're going to be using the grayscale option. It's really critical to activate the ignore white option at the bottom and then click preview. You can play with the settings but they more or less are probably fine if you use the grayscale option. When ready, I'll go ahead and expand the image trace under the object and top drop down menu. Halftone effect can be found under Effect, Pixelate, and then Halftone Color. Again, the values you use here will depend on your design, but you can try the values that I'm using on screen and just go from there. If you want to redo the effect, simply press Command or Control Z to move back a step and then redo it. You can see the halftone effect here on screen but I do suggest that you give it multiple attempts until you're really, really happy with your design. Finally today, we're going to set up the poster design document. In Illustrator, there are some presets for print design projects, and today I'm going to make an A4 document to lay the halftone poster on top of. You could add bleeds and stuff, but I'm not going to bother with that today. The halftone effect works best on a really vibrant and a bold colour background, so I decided to go for a loud and a bright pinky kind of red. Press M for the rectangle tool and draw a shape covering the entire poster design document. Once you've done that, lock it down in place and lay over the halftone part of the design. So you will notice that it doesn't look too great right now, but that's because we need to come into the transparency window here or in the top drop down menu, and then change the blend mode to multiply, and finally lower the opacity. This will actually set off the halftone effect properly with your background. Your poster is essentially finished at this point, you just need to get creative with typography and some other minimal aspects too. But remember that typography can make or break a design, and so if you want to see typography tutorials on my channel just let me know. Also, if you want to keep expanding your skills as a graphic designer, make sure to subscribe to Satori Graphics for weekly graphic design content. And if you do want to help out my channel, just remember to share my content on social media so other people can see it too. I'm going to get back to my vacation and this is a pre-recorded tutorial, so I'm going to wish you all a great day and until next time, design your future today. Peace. <laughs>